It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Niners and the Packers, and it comes your way next. First opened in 1957. Welcome inside what's still one of the great stadiums of the NFL. Legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, home of the Packers. Good to be in the booth with Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Greg, this is a passing league. And you know that from your days. It's evolved even more into a game in the air. And boy, we have a couple of quarterbacks who know all about moving their team via the Packers. Yeah, and I think we're going to see this ball thrown early and often throughout the game. And anyone who loves offensive football, this is certainly a treat. And you said it, Mike. This league has turned more and more with each passing season into a passing league. If you can't throw, if you can't generate points through the air and explosive plays, it is going to be very difficult to compete and win week in and week out in today's modern NFL. Here's Jake Moody to get this one picked off. And off we go from legendary Lambeau. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Here comes the pack, and here comes Jordan Love. Fifth season quarterback, but Greg just his second as a starter, waited his turn, and had a really good first year as a starter. Took a little while for him to get his chance to be a full-time starter, but once he got that shot, he just never looked back. I mean, Mike, think... He's always had that power for him. He can push the ball up and down the field and make every throw imaginable. But that time he spent on the sideline, I think it ended up being a massive blessing in disguise. He was able to work on his game from a mental and technical standpoint with no pressure to play. And now he is reaping all the benefits. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. They'll try again here. Second and ten. On the ground, this is the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. And this will be a short pickup to about the 30. Devondre Campbell brings him down. Third and six. From the gun, it's Love. He's got a man, it's done. 11 yards on the pass there. Good for a Green Bay first down. These third down conversions are just so important. Like everybody stresses, we want to possess the ball. Give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. Go play action with Love. They go sideline and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. A first down there. Gain of 14 yards. Now, Kyle Shanahan not happy with that last call. And he's going to put out that red challenge flag. At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules, you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around, he has control. So that's what the referee is looking at here. So the challenge is unsuccessful and he's gonna have to be careful here because he has just one challenge for the remainder of the game. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. Toss to Jacobs. And not much there. 
He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. The offense is trying to test the edges of the perimeter of this defense, Mike, but the defense is just too quick to the ball. Total team defense, pursuit, 11 hats to the ball carrier. It's exactly what we saw here. Keep that game to nothing. From the gun, on third down, it's Love. And that is incomplete. Timing and trust critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. Brandon McManus and the field goal unit come on. Spotted at the 45, this is a 55-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. And that's just a tough way to finish off what was a good opening drive. And obviously, as a kicker, you have to have a short memory. But you can bet he'll be thinking about that one the rest of the way. a season ago Christian McCaffrey and he finds some space tackled after a gain of seven on first down here's second and three to go now some movement up front We'll hear from our referee for the first time here today. Here's McCaffrey. And he'll get this one across midfield. Brought down after a pickup of a half dozen. Here's third and two. They'll try to run for it with McCaffrey. And he will work this down to the 43-yard line, and that is enough for a first down. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. Here's first and ten. They run once more with McCaffrey. And that one shut down pretty quickly. They'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Heck, give an effort by this runner, Mike, just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I think most backs around the league, that play would have resulted in a loss. But not this guy. Continued to fight, continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss. But it still stopped for no gain. On second down, Purdy. He'll complete this one. That's Debo Samuel. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. These were the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup, and I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game. First down is Purdy. That's caught. Christian McCaffrey. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. Throwing from the gun is Purdy. Short one there, caught by Kittle. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. 
One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design, sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback, getting into the hands of his receiver. He is in. Christian McCaffrey, touchdown, 49ers. When you start talking about the qualities of a top tier back in the NFL, Mike, we all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole, as much as what hole to hit. And I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together. He takes advantage of the scheme, and next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. Now Jake Moody for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the 49ers will take a 7-0 lead. to kick it off for the return it's Keyshawn Nixon and he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line the Packers offense ready to see the football for the second time they trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down Jacobs to start the drive. Look at him stay on his feet as he's able to shimmy his way for a gain of about five. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You gotta have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. The second down throw for Love. He finds Caden Reed for the ground. He'll be taken down. The game is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone. And that one just kept getting worse and worse until finally they bring him down. If you're gonna take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you wanna extend this drive. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They'll run it to the right here with Jacobs. And that'll go for a gain of about four. The veteran Leonard Floyd, they're on the tackle. What can they do here? This is third and forever. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Trying to give a lot of credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was plenty of time for the quarterback to work through his progression. I thought the protection was actually pretty solid. But at the end of it, there was just nowhere to go, and he had no choice but to just throw that ball away. On fourth down, the Packers turn it over to Daniel Whelan to punt. Back deep for the Niners. Jacob Cowley. That'll be returnable from the 35. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. 
the 49ers offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession they lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive so try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10 they'll put one of the tight ends in motion This throw, left side, caught by Kittle. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. So Kittle comes in motion. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. They get an even 20 on that one. It's good for a Niners first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. And he can hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it will be second down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. And the defense all over this one. They knock him down, and it'll go down as a loss of two. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming, because I tell you, that defense was on it from the start. Third and long. Shotgun snap to Purdy. And he will take this into the end zone. What a run. Russ Purdy. Touchdown, San Francisco. That one is going to hurt the defense. He's looking to throw. Can't find anyone. Takes off, and Greggy takes it the distance for an exciting touchdown run. And these are the plays, Mike, that just drive defensive coordinators crazy. You had all of his targets covered up, nowhere to go with the ball, and next thing you know, he gets out of the pocket, takes it all the way with his legs. He's just as dangerous with those feet as he is with his arm. Moody's extra point is good. And the 49ers will extend their first quarter lead. It's now 14 to nothing. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. On the return, here's Jaden Reed. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Out comes the Green Bay offense now as they get set to take over again. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. To throw is love. And the rush gets there. He'll be tracked down. It's first down. You gotta get the ball out of your hands. I understand trying to take a shot. I love it on early downs. But once it's not there and that protection starts to break down, it's either check down or throw away. You don't want to be in second and long. The 
they'll run the draw with Jacobs. Well, that helps to be a much more manageable third down, getting some good yardage on that second down play. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in him. They'll throw here on third and short. Taking off, he'll try to get there. So, after the five yards are walked off, they face third and long. Now, Love. And that is incomplete. I say one of the most critical elements of a dynamic offense, Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. Here's an opportunity to continue to extend this drive. The defense wins this time and brings up fourth down. but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. Here's the San Francisco offense, ready to take possession of the ball once more. They've raced out to a 14-0 lead. They've done nothing wrong so far. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. They'll run with McCaffrey to start this drop. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. Play fake to McCaffrey. Now, Purdy. Complete. Triple zeros on the clock. The first quarter has come to an end. So they'll talk over what to do on this third down play as we have hit the end of the first quarter. The Niners have the early advantage. And we're back. Lambeau Field in just a moment. A third and two. We need two. Here's Purdy. He gets it to Samuel. Left side. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five. But it will keep the drive going. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Here's Purdy on first and 10. And they're going to get to him and take him down, take him back to the other side of midfield. Finally, this defense has been searching for a big play after giving up two touchdowns on the previous two drives. They're going to need more of that. They have to find more impactful plays that end drives and get the ball back to their offense. Here's Purdy making the read and keeping it. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. This defense has had their share of troubles trying to contain this quarterback today, Mike. This time they go to the zone read. The defender goes after the running back, and the quarterback pulls it, keeps it himself, and has a huge gain for a first down. First and 10. Purdy. That's caught by McCaffrey. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. 
think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game, I, I think those days are over, Mike. I think when you look around the landscape of today's NFL, yes, you have to cover, but you also have to be able to come up and tackle. Throwing on second down is Purdy. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end. They'll send a tight end in motion. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. They'll come up here first and ten. A tight end in motion now. A play fake. Now it's Purdy. That is caught the three. And he'll take it on in. Devo Samuel. Touchdown, 49ers. This defense continuing to give up points. Greg, you've been on offenses like this. This has to feel great when you're on a roll like this. And it's really twofold, Mike. First and foremost, just like you said, every offense in the league works all week. We want to start out fast. We want to establish some early rhythm and play our style of game. They've certainly done that. Now, on the flip side, what does it do to your opponent? It takes them completely out of their game plan, knowing this early in the game, they're chasing points. Extra point up and good from Moody. And the 49ers will stake themselves to a 21 to nothing lead. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. This returnable with Reed. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Packers' offense back onto the field for their next possession. They find themselves down three touchdowns here, needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. start here to the drive early down success every offensive coordinator is trying to find ways how do we pick up first downs without having to get to third down we see it here big explosive run now the rest of the drive unfolds on first and ten here's love that one on target to Watson and they're going to get this ball down to the 20-yard line. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the gun, it's Love. Got his man at the six. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. It's been a rough first half, but now as we approach halftime, Mike, you got to start getting some wins. And it could be something small like we just saw here. Some positive plays, build a little confidence on that sideline. 
So as you go into halftime, you have something to build on. That is caught. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal. But right now, they're on the doorstep of the end zone and they got to find a way to put that ball across the board. The yards marched off and they'll try it again on second and goal off the play pick here's love over the top he's got it touchdown Packers Greg it's the quarterback's best friend and you were that guy for a lot of years the tight end in a tight area with man coverage yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Debo Samuel going to get a chance to return it. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. There's Debo Samuel and the rest of this Niners offense set to take over again. The lead is a couple of touchdowns as this drive kicks off first and 10. Here's Purdy. Checking it down. This one is caught. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play. But put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. They'll try the left side with McCaffrey. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Defensive coaches preach every day, Mike, swarm to the ball. Get as many hats to the ball carrier as possible. And this is a great reason why. The ball carrier is able to make the first guy miss, but it was the pursuit from the rest of the defense that's able to get him down and keep him to no gain. Third and short. Here's Purdy. Complete to Kittle, the tight end. And he's going to get awfully close to the first down marker, but appears just to be a few inches short. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. And no run back here. Fair catch taken at the 17 yard line Jordan Love the rest of the Packer offense ready for their next possession they'll start out first down and 10 It's the tight end Kraft in motion. Love to throw on first and ten. Room to run past the 30. And it'll be taken down up past the 40-yard line. 
The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes, and there is a lot of room to operate. Set to go now on first and 10. A handoff running left, it's Jacobs. And that one is closed down in the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part coming through again with another big stop for a loss. Once again, it's Jacobs. And that's a good game there. It's going to wind up just a couple of yards shy of that first down. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down. But that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. Dobbs headed in motion. He'll try to run it here with Jacobs. Looking for room out on the edge. He's not going to find it. As a matter of fact, I think they tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. The idea here for this offense is you're not really thinking necessarily touchdown. You're thinking first down. Let's get a fresh set of downs here and reset. But in this case, they suffer a loss, and it brings up fourth down. Here's Daniel Whelan now as he is on to punt for Green Bay. And we will not have a return here. This one angle out of bounds. The Niners offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Luxury that certain teams, when they have a guy like this, I mean, not only is he the big target, but then to have that size and speed to run away from these linebackers and do so much of his damage after the catch. Throwing on first down is Purdy. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass you say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. On second down, Purdy. He'll let one go. Downfield for Jimmy. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Defensively, you put so much effort about defending the middle of the field. You know that's the valuable real estate every offense is looking to attack. But what does that do, Mike? It makes you a little susceptible to the throws outside the numbers, and it leads to a chunk play. Two minutes remain here in this first half. Back with more from Lambeau Field after this. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. Hardy works out of the pistol. He'll get this one to his safety valve. Complete. That was not what they were hoping for. He's going to go out of bounds behind the line. A loss on that one. What they teach these backs is when you catch a check down, immediately try to get vertical. Try to put a hole in the defense coming to rally tackle. So give credit to the defense here. They strung this out and made him go sideways. And they forced him to go so far sideways, he went out of bounds. They'll throw again with Purdy. Inside the 10, it is caught. And he's going to be taken down. 
Man, they're just running this two-minute drill to complete perfection. It's such a point of emphasis of every offense, Mike. These end-of-half scenarios to come away stealing points make a big impact on the outcome of the game. And they're knocking on the door here first and goal. At the very least, got to come away with some points. Purdy going to put it up again. His throw on first downs going to be incomplete. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire. So the defense finally gets a stop. And really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. The ball's still at the eight-yard line for second down and goal. Back to the air again is Purdy. They try to set up the screen, but this one doomed from the start. It's incomplete. They couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike. I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. Third and goal. Purdy. San Francisco. And this is where it pays to have a strong arm to throw this sort of outbreaking route, Mike, towards the boundary in tight coverage. You gotta have a lot of faith that you're gonna get that ball there. If you're a little late or this ball is underthrown, it could result in a pick six the other direction. Instead, he fires it and he puts it on a line, and the result is a touchdown. Moody now for the extra point. His kick is good. And the 49ers add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. Here's Nixon on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Josh Jacobs and the Packers offense heading back onto the field. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drop. First down now. shotgun it's love the throw out wide it's caught certainly not the biggest play of the day but a good example of picking up positive yardage staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route they'll come up now for second down and four to throw is love this is taken in by God going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Here's luck. First down throw there is incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Throwing on second down, Love. He'll take a shot here for the end zone. That's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose. 
and forcing third down. He's trying to set the tone here for the rest of the game and let this defense know there is not a blade of grass on this field that you don't have to defend because he reared back and he let that one eat. And he's got to work a little bit on his touch, a little bit on his accuracy, but only he needs to work on his arm strength. Christian Watson, the intended receiver. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. And this passing game continues to come up short these last couple plays. That's two consecutive incompletions in a row. Now they're staring fourth down right in the face. A fair catch signaled and taken at about the 18-yard line. So here's Brock Purdy and this 49ers offense heading back onto the field. And he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. First and ten. Throwing from the gun is... And the rush too strong. They're in there in a flash for the sack. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. So, halftime here. It's the visitors, the 49ers, who are on top, as we'll get you down to Orlando now. That's where the coach is, Jonathan Coachman, and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports studios and our halftime report. We saw the former All-Pro Christian McCaffrey up to his old tricks in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, Coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Brock Purdy and the NFC champs back out to begin this next drive. We'll take you back to earlier and some highlights in this one. He had success throwing it, but also success running it, including that rushing touchdown. He has been the unquestioned leader of this offense on the field today. The drive starts with a carry by McCaffrey. It's not going to yield a whole lot. Up to about the 28-yard line. Second down and eight. From the shotgun, it's Purdy. That's caught by McCaffrey. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here's a third down and four. Shotgun snap to Purdy. He finds his big receiver. That's Jennings. Number 15 gets 15 yards out of that one. 
And he's got his team a first down. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. First and ten for Purdy. He'll find his tight end, Kittle, on the right side. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Really nice throw downfield on that conversion. Brings up a new set of downs. And defensively, Mike, this feels like desperation move. If you allow them to finish this drive with a touchdown, this game feels all but over. Here's Purdy again. That's to the first round rookie from Florida, Ricky Pearsall. And he will score. Ricky Pearsall, touchdown, 49ers. Greg, nothing changed at halftime. They come right out to start this third quarter and pick up where they left off. Well, I think this defensive coordinator is going to think back to his halftime speech, Mike, because whatever adjustments he thought they made, it obviously didn't resonate. What we saw happen in the first half, they picked right back up here to start the third quarter, and at this point, the offense has hit its stride, and they continue to pull away. On is Moody to add the extra point. It's up and good. And the 49ers will extend this third quarter lead. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. This returnable with Reed. Now an opening past the 30. He's to midfield. They're going to be set up with a short field. What a tremendous kick return. Well, I'll tell you what, Mike. When you've given up this many points, you're going to get quite the workload with your return units, and that's a really good effort right there. I mean, it's going to get lost anytime you have a one-sided game like this, but that's great determination on that run back. The Packers offense ready for their first possession of this second half. Their job made a little easier by that big kick return. They start in tremendous field position here. The man in motion is Watson. Love to throw it on first down. He's hit as he threw. It goes to the ground, and it's an incomplete pass. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And it'll be a pickup of three. So third down, forthcoming. It's the tight end craft in motion. From the gun, on third down, it's Luck. This one is caught by Reed. 11 yards for number 11, and a first down. And up until this point, we haven't seen a lot go their way, but here in the third quarter, they're starting to find some plays, they're starting to get some opportunities. Just got to ask yourself if it's too little, too late. They'll run it straight ahead with Jacobs. Well, that looked like a pretty clear hold. The game was five, but let's check the call. On 
on the ground. It's Jacobs. And this time they are ready for it. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big game at carry. It's second down. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And some good blocking, springing up a gain of nine as we get to third down. Here's Lowe to throw. We'll try and set up the tight end screen. And a good short tackle right there. It starts him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. McManus's kick is good and the Packers will cut into that lead so it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive but at the same time you don't want to come away empty-handed either so in this case they'll take those three points The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Samuel gonna see what he can do and he'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop 49ers offense about ready to take over once more and as we look back now Greg at how we got here we got a ton of highlights of the offense so far in particular great passing yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And with three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been high-level offense on display right from the jump. Play fake to McCaffrey. Now, Curtis. Downfield and hauled in by Samuel. 16 yards on the game and a quick first down. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid range pass results in a fresh set of downs. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Ricky Pearsall, the intended receiver. And it'll be second down. To throw is Purdy. They'll try to set up the screen to McCaffrey. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. The relationship between the back and the offensive lineman is now the key for the run after catch. You want to make sure those linemen don't get too far down the field or they can't help protect the back. So once the running back catches it, there's a go-go call. Now everyone knows it's time to go downfield. The running back falls in behind them, and that's the landmark of the screenplay. Samuel brings this in along the sideline. Give them 17 more, and they are on a roll. Another first down. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. Back to the air is Purdy. He'll check this down to the running back. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. 
A running back that can be used in the passing game is a handful for these defenses. And you can tell this offense, they're not shy getting this guy the ball. And I think the rest of this game, they're going to continue to see, hey, defense, do you have an answer for this guy? Up the middle, here's McCaffrey. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Out of the gun, here's Purdy. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Christian McCaffrey. Touchdown, San Francisco. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Moody now for the extra point. He's got it. And the 49ers stretch things out even further. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. This returnable with Reed. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Packers offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. Go play action with love. This one complete. Right side, it's Watson. Second and seven. Here's a handoff to Jacob. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. From the gun, it's Love. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. So here in the second half, it's obvious the offense finds themselves in a tough spot, trailing by this many points. But really what makes it difficult is when you have to operate, Mike, in a comeback situation where you have to air the ball out every single play, it stresses your offensive line. It stresses your quarterback. It stresses your playmakers. It is just a really difficult way to play offensive football in the NFL. And... They've got to do it, really, for the remainder of this half. The Niners offense and Brock Purdy headed back on the field for their next possession. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. From the 25, they'll go to work first and 10. They run straight ahead with McCaffrey. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three.
They face second down and seven. Out of the gut. It's pretty. That's taken in by Jennings. And he'll be brought down up around the 38-yard line. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. Way Walker, the linebacker, on the tackle. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Now, Purdy. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play, except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now a handoff to McCaffrey. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. From the gun, it's Purdy. And we brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So we are through three. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. staying out there for this fourth down. Now Purdy. He's got his tight end, Kittle. And he's going to have a Niners first down. They'll have it by a lot. It turns out to be a big gainer on fourth down. Well, I think one thing's for sure, Mike. I don't think we're seeing an offense that is comfortable with this late lead. They're continuing to put pressure on the defense and say, hey, I don't care how much we're up by. We're going to continue to execute our passing game, and if there's opportunities downfield, we're going to continue to take it. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Here's Purdy. His throw on first down is going to be incomplete. I think this defense is wondering where some of these missed throws were earlier in the game. I mean, for a while, it seemed like everything the offense did hit. And after that last incomplete pass, although this game's all but over, this defense will certainly take it. We'll try again. It's second and 10. From the shotgun, it's Purdy. That's going to be intercepted in the end zone. Picked off by Isaiah McDuffie. So much of that play comes down to the defender's position. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown. And instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. The home team's offense, ready to get back at it. Things not looking good. But, see if we can get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Out 
out of the shotgun. It's Love. The open man is Reed. He's got it. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down throw for Love. Here's a screen taken in by Jacobs. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Well, a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Short pass taken in by the tight end. A gain of 16 yards. First down, Packers. You know, it's really been a one-sided game, but how often do we see in the fourth quarter the team that finds themselves down by a lot? They start to come alive. I think it's a combination of trying to end the game on a positive note, but also sometimes that defense getting a little lackadaisical. Here's the middle. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pick. -up. And that screen slow to develop, and... They rally to the ball and stop them. That will be no game on the screen. It's a really good job defensively. The key is you don't want your defensive linemen to overcommit to rushing the passer, and you don't want your linebackers in secondary dropping too deep defending the pass. In this case, all three levels play discipline, good football with good vision. That's why they're able to stop them for no game. And he'll be stopped short of the first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. And that is incomplete. But here we find the best laid plans sometimes do go astray. Every offense, Mike, what do they tell us? We want to stay ahead of the chains. We want to stay on schedule. This was a third and very reasonable. Incomplete on that third down try. Now brings up fourth and short. They'll send a tight end in motion. And they'll try it now with Jacobs. And he's going to have a Packers first down, it would appear. Yes, he does, by a full yard. They get the conversion on fourth and two. I know it's fourth and short, Mike, but at this distance, you actually have to clear a lane out. You can't just fall forward or push the pile. So that conversion, it's as much of a credit to the blocking as it is to the running back seeing the hole and hitting it. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. the middle with Jacobs. And he's got it. First down. A pickup of four. I think this second down call might they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second and they get a fresh set of downs. Here's first and ten. To throw is Love. That is going to be called in. He's got it. Really Dobbs. Touchdown, Green Bay. Well, it's not going to be enough, but at least they find the end zone at the end of a hard week's work. This will pay off with a touchdown, Greg. Mike, you can just chalk this one up in the column of too little, too late. I give credit to this offense for not going down without a fight, but they're not going to have enough time to find themselves back in this one. 
McManus on for the point after. The kick is good. And the Packers cut into the lead a little bit. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, it's Ronnie Bell. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Niners offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly making the right read seemingly every time. McCaffrey now on first and ten. And he'll get about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. McCaffrey now from the pistol. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. They'll go back to McCaffrey on first down. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. First and 10 now from the 36. Again, it's McCaffrey. Strong running there. Inside the 30. On the move with a gain of nine. Second and a yard. They run once more with McCaffrey. He'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. The offense thinks that they can just kind of plow this one up there in the middle and keep the chains moving, but not on this defense. Not only do they not pick up the first down, but after suffering that loss, now they've got some decisions to make on third down. Purdy going to keep this one himself. And he's going to have a Niners first down. At least it appears that way. He got it maybe by the length of the football. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. On the ground, it's McCaffrey. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off.
after this. Here's a second and 12. On the give, it's McCaffrey. And he'll get this ahead. Gain of about four. And it leads to third down. ways to say touchdown they're doing it so often here today mike some offensive play callers once they get the lead it's just milk the clock and let's get out with the win but not this coach he is trying to score every single time they possess the ball moody's extra point is good and the 49ers will add one more onto their big lead So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. This returnable with Reed. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Packers offense running back Josh Jacobs heading back on the field. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. They'll come up here first and ten. Now Love to the left side in the hands of Watson. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike. How well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy... I'm not sure how you guard it. On first and ten, here's Love. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Taken in by Watson. And nice work after the catch. He stopped a little short of the first down marker. But it is a pickup of nine. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. So a win here for our visitors, the 49ers. And they do it in blowout fashion. We thought this might be a competitive battle. It was anything but. Points came early and often 
they cruise to an easy victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone.